And let's go into some Q and A. All right. So <laughs> I, I always star things before I start. There's a couple of good comments. Lord Peace says, hey, Rob, explain. Markets are crashing, but Hosky token. Sorry, it's kind of hot here. He's up and Hosky NFTs are selling like hotcakes. I'm confused. Hail something. So uh, there's a bull run somewhere. There's always a bull run somewhere. So uh, I can't explain exactly why that is, but I can tell you that there's some things that pump uh, because of some things going on behind the scenes. Here's a prime example. We did a story a couple of days ago about the VGX token, how it had went from, gosh, it was something. Let me pull it up. I pull it up right here. Burp. It went up like 300% in 24 hours. And I was like, what the heck is going on? Right now it's down. And actually, let's take a look over 14 days. Yeah. So it was at 20 cents, went down to 14, 15 cents. Because, you know, they're going through bankruptcy. And, of course, it shot up to here. And I was like, what the heck is going on? That was almost 80, yeah, 85 cents. And now we're half of that. There was a company and there was a Twitter account. And somebody had written an article. And I covered that article. And I said, there's this, there's this uh, project that talks about how they're going to help bail out Voyager and, and they're there for the community and they're going to do all these things. And uh, they're going to have a pump event on July 18th, which would, which would be tomorrow. And uh, I covered that and I said, look, this sounds like a pump and dump. Stay away from this. I don't know who these people are. I don't know what it is. But if you're looking for that's potentially part of the reason, might be part of the reason why this is going up. And of course, here we are again, down. So for Lord P, I don't know exactly why Hosky's going up. I'm not saying that's the reason. I'm just saying that there's a lot of crazy manipulation out there. And uh, NFT is not for sure on that one. But uh, look, if JP Morgan can manipulate precious metals at the drop of a hat and then pay just a couple of billion dollars in fines, and that market in gold is over $12 trillion, how easy do you think it would be to, to manipulate a market cap uh, of a certain token, or even our entire market cap of under a trillion. Super simple. Uh, that's just what I, what I know. All right. Uh, Jeff, will we get another big dip? Will we not? That's the question. I don't know, but Hashoshi had a great uh, video today. Go check that out. He talks about how he thinks it might go down to maybe below 15K. Again, look, look, I'm not that smart. Uh, I just, I know, I don't know anything. Over three, five, ten year type of type of time frame, I just don't see blockchain technology and Bitcoin and some really good projects go anywhere. Now, does that mean that I think that Ethereum's going to be here in the next twenty years? I can't say that, but I can just say that for quite some time, I think it'll be around for for uh, a little bit of time, especially uh, Bitcoin too. So I'm just going to invest in those until I get more facts that say don't invest into those and then go from there. So as far as like a dip, yeah, probably. Do I think things are cheap right now? Yes, I do. But I think things are overpriced. I do not. But again, that's, uh, that's for you to, to say, I think it's overpriced. I'm going to go buy bonds or whatever. Sure. Or nothing, actually. <laughs> this one's funny. Ryan says, I keep my crypto safe by swallowing my ledger every two days. It's got to be rough on the tummy. Only money says I'm here for the cannonball. I'll do that cannonball as soon as Bitcoin gets 100K. Bootsy. Glad I found yours in Ben's channel. Yeah, Ben's channel. Ben's a great channel. Hey, and if you don't know, Ben's got this great website, in the Cryptoverse. It's, there's a link. It's not an affiliate link, but uh, I use it all the time. Just today I used uh, Look into Bitcoin. But it's great. It's got a lot of... And the one thing that's really awesome, and I can't show it because it won't let me, is the uh, risk assessment tool and uh, how long... Uh, Bitcoin uh, stays in these 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 risk uh, timeframes and when it's like super, super undervalued, which you can kind of see other things, but this one really drives it home. I wish I could show it to you, but I can't. So you can check out Ben's website in app.intothecryptoverse.com. Yeah, that's it. Matic, yes, Ali, Matic and Polygon uh, used to be called Matic, now it's called Polygon, so on and so forth. Uh, I got a lot of wrenches. Robert's here. You see Coinbase and Marketing Flipper? I heard about it. And I'm like, well, that makes sense. Look, 
And people were really freaked out because because Coinbase was like, we're going to stop stop this affiliate program because we can't pay out. Smart, very smart. You have to take a look. Look at all of the platforms that have been shut down recently. What are they doing? They're lending. Who do they lend it to? In some way, shape, or form, apparently it all gives it that, that junk three arrows capital. And in some way, shape, or form, their tentacles are on everything. And that's the ones that usually end up failing. Now, there's some other ones, correct me in the comments, but it's mostly these lending platforms. So like Coinbase wanted to do lending. Remember that? And they went to go see Gary Gensler from the SEC, and Gary's like, sit down, talk to me. And of course they did, and they said, we're gonna sue the pants off if you do that. So get out of my office, rookie. And that's pretty much what happened. So, I mean, not in those, those terms, but uh, that was it. And I gotta tell you, you know, as much as hate as Gary Gensler gets heaped on, he was right on a couple of things, and that's gonna be super unpopular, but I don't care, because he was right on a couple of things. One of those things he was right about was the terms and conditions that is in Coinbase or the, the end user license agreement, which states in, and this was a, this was a big story. And it was like, it's foot, it's foot, it's foot. Was it? Where they came out and they said, if you have crypto on our exchange or on our platform and we go bankrupt, that now becomes our crypto. Did you know that? Well, it's in the terms and conditions. So go ahead and prove, prove me wrong and then sound off in the comment section. That's what I read, unless they changed something recently. And Gary's like, you can't do that. You have to separate users' funds from your funds to keep things safe and amicable. And I'll be damned if it wasn't right. Just saying. Ah. Jay Mind, it says, uh, Rob, what do you think about Reggie Middleton in from USDC? I'm not familiar with what he said, but uh, let me know what it is. I was impressed with USDC. They came out and they, I think they backed up 80% with bonds and there's a paper trail and they're actually over collateralized. And the 20% is cash or cash equivalents, which is pretty good. Oh man, it's a bummer. Ah, that is a bummer.
Okay. <laughs> uh, you know what's crazy? There was no sound for five minutes, and we still have 1,200 people here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me say that really quick again. For the last five minutes, what I was talking about was this. I appreciate you guys. God, Lee, I got to make this up to you. So what I was talking about here was this. I mean, in a nutshell, I was saying Bam Degen is the second channel. It's like, if you want to gamble, just go to this channel. And these are like gambling uh, type of projects. And I talked about how you can find this spreadsheet in the links in the description. And of course, we talked about the four that I, we've really reviewed. Because we used to call Dan Degen Dan Clips, but that didn't really work out too hot. Because no one really cared about Dan Clips. But they care about Degen plays. So again, Sukishi, Everdome. Again, Sukishi, we got in at a fraction of a penny. No, sorry, a penny and a half. And it went all the way up to like a buck 45. Now it's, it's still at 42 cents, roughly, uh, even in this bad market. Everdome, we got in a fraction of a penny. And it uh, went up to like 10 cents, 12 cents. Now it's at two cents. Fame, about a penny, went up to, that one went up to almost a, almost a dollar. Now it's at two cents because market. And then the last one was Sweatcoin, but that's just a free app, free airdrop and all that stuff. Yes, meme, you guys, you guys do. It's like I say, just show up. Just show up. <laughs> you have to be 21 again. You should be. You should be like 41 to gamble on that channel. That channel is... Whew, just expect to lose everything on that channel. Okay. Crypto, man, it wasn't your sound. It was my screw up. I messed that up. Uh, <laughs> Alex, Alex was probably pumped. He's like, hey, there's no sound when you answer my question. So the Voyager officer offers, there was one that I know of, $250 million. Past that, I haven't heard of anything else going on. I think as the week starts up, we'll see exactly what's happening and go from there. But I haven't heard of any other, any other um, offers. But we covered this on the video on Friday about how things are moving along. And then people ask me, Rob, do you still invest in people? I do. Um, unfortunately, can people make massive glaring mistakes? Yes, they can. And it only takes one. It takes, uh, was it Seneca? Who said it? It takes, a, uh, it takes a lifetime to build up a reputation, but it takes only seconds to destroy it. And that's essentially what happened here, in my humble opinion. Uh, you made a dumb mistake. You lent it out over half a billion dollars without collateral to three arrows capital. Nobody knew about it until, you know, until it was too damn, almost too late. And then uh, when I found out about it, that's when I said, I put that video out on June 22nd. July 1st, everything stops. Yeah, don't know. I don't know how you, God damn. You know, that's just how it is. That's just, that's just how it is. And we have to just say, this was a mistake. This is what happened. Now, how do I get myself out of the stake? Where do I go from here? And that's it. I do think, and the next question, of course, is um, do we think we'll get our money back? I think Voyager has a better opportunity than Celsius. I'm sorry, but I think it is. And I think when we get our crypto back, I don't think we're going to get 100% back. I think we're all going to take a haircut. I think we're going to get percentages back, and we're going to go from there. And, of course, some people say you'll never get anything back. It could be true. Could be true. That's why, like, when I look at these things, I'm looking at alternative options. That's why Simon Dixon's offer made so much sense to me. If he's going to come here and say, look, we can do it just like the Mount Gox ways, which Mount Gox happened eight years ago. Those people still haven't gotten their, their crypto back. Do you want to be that? That's essentially what Chapter 11 does without an alternative, which is where we're at right now. So the way that Simon Dixon laid it out was like, you can do Chapter 11 you, we can agree to it, all the different creditors or the people who are actually owed that crypto and go, yes, we'll take this offer, which is 55% of my crypto. And then we'll also take, if this is how they did it with, um, with Bitfinex, 45% or a combination of different things where they would say, okay, give me a new type of equity into this new company. And then that'll be the part. And then hopefully it'll grow from there. I think that's the only win-win you can do. And that's why Voyager wants to give stock to everybody who still has crypto in there because they say, 
if they can give them stock, and then of course, and then of course the VGX token, then it's in your vested interest to go back to Voyager and talk good about all those things. I will tell you this though, you as, as much as that goes, you can't trust anybody. It's just how it is. Uh, yeah, the shirt is awesome. This is from uh, the group over at These Nuts. These Nuts NFTs. Scam. Scam Bankman. Damn, thanks. News on Voyager, nothing else. Ah, sorry. DeFi Dad. DeFi Dad! <laughs> Jeff, one Puerto Rico. It's either we spent about five and a half months here in Texas and we spent about six and a half months in Puerto Rico. We live in Puerto Rico. We vacation in Texas. We're looking at uh, September ish, somewhere around there. Yeah. Ah, thanks. Ah, Vicky, thank you. Uh, they try to help me out with corner companies. We'll get to them. We'll get we'll we'll get up at some point. When wrench, who wants to be an uh, an admin? I need you know what I need. I need some admin music. When I start like giving out wrenches. Like that or something. Let's give out some wrenches, huh? Go on real quick. All right. Congratulations, Crux. And now, unfortunately, I can only give you a wrench if I've seen you a bunch of times. Here he says, Dead Boy is already in OnlyFans for the bear market. <laughs> Might be successful. I don't know. Crux of Crypto, sorry, I don't know you that well. I... Vicky, yes. Because you reached out. Beardy, you're already one. Teja Sue, you are Sue. Zelda music. Yeah, that's not the good one. Jeff, Jeff, I think you've been around. I can't remember. I need a pool man. I don't, I am the pool man. Oh, wow. Chrissy, Denny, you, you're not a moderator yet? Well, you are today. Congratulations. Crypto man. Jack in a <laughs> Yeah, where is Desert Dog? Uh, Kimmy Snyder, no. Exchange mm, for trading. What? Okay. Well, that's good. Five new admins minted today is a great day. And that's what's up. Let me stop this. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Oof, nobody wants to see that. Woot, woot. <laughs> Get in the pool like George. Ah, Gemini Exchange is okay. Ah, I mean, I still have an account. I just haven't used it in quite some time. <laughs> One way beard. Anything on Vault? I don't know about... They had a shutdown, didn't they? Oh, I don't know. Am I muted again? God dang, that would suck. But, no, I'm still good. I don't know how that happened. And what did I miss? Give me my... <laughs> Binance is okay, right? Crypto exchange scares me. Yeah, all exchanges scare me. Binance US reached out to me and they wanted to do some uh, affiliate link type stuff. And I said, ah, I don't really know you guys. Uh, but I told, I said, you know what, you know, it'd be great is uh, I'll think about it. If somebody comes to my show and talks to everybody like you and says why they should go to Binance, because I have Binance US. So whoever you can think of to come on the show, then we'll talk. But you have to understand that nobody trusts centralized exchanges right now. So you got to give them a reason. And that's it. That's what I should do. 
Well, everybody that's honestly everybody everybody that's that I have affiliate links for, I've all had them on my show. Some did, some were doing some shady stuff behind the scenes, and there we are. But and that's another one. I trust capital. So I trust capital. We were. They've been sending me emails about all the things they're doing right. And I'm like, I understand that you guys are doing right, but that doesn't matter. And I understand that it's a Roth IRA. And I understand that, you know, there is no loans getting, you know, being put out, no DeFi. But you understand, you know, Steve, the CEO of Voyager, said the exact same thing four or five days before they stopped withdrawals. You know, hey, we're very, we do our due diligence and we're very careful and da da da. And I'm not saying he, Actually, I am. I am saying he's, he was, uh, it was totally uncareful to give that to half a billion dollars. And I'm sure there's, 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 there's circumstances where like, oh, no, but we, you don't understand because of this, this, this. It does not matter. Colossal mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is living in a bull market. So I told those guys, I'm like, look, I like you guys, but I need you to come on the show and talk to people and put a face to the name and uh, go from there. You know, I need to do that. There was a, there was a great, it was uh, Joe Rogan and um, ah, what show was he on? Emily. Uh, he was talking about uh, him getting canceled and counterculture and how he got through it. One of them was working out. The other one was microdosing. I probably shouldn't talk about this on YouTube. They'll probably do something with it, but it does a lot. does pretty great for PTSD for uh, fellow veterans. So... Yeah, I should. Yeah. Well, Beardy's a nurse, you know. Great treatment for depression. Yeah. Microdosing, not the heroic doses like my other friends have done. I'm not doing that. Yes, thank you, Kappa. Super, thanks for the super sticker, Rich. Uh, Lex Freeman, I always forget his name. It was Joe Rogan and Lex Freeman. Hour and a half, two-hour show, and they had to talk about microdosing. <laughs> Gala, Gala games are awesome. I had a bunch of Gala. Had, don't know. <laughs> this is great. All right, guys, it's Sunday and it's hot. And uh, I think what happened with that audio, it switched over some settings. And maybe it's the computer. I think it might be overheating. I gotta get out of here. So look, that's it for today. If you like the video, just do me one favor. Just one favor, one, just hit the like button. That'd be fantastic. That'd be great. And uh, if I could just get, let's see, there's 1,300 people here. If I could just get 2,600 likes. <laughs> now, if, if I could just get 500 more likes, that'd be great. Nah, it doesn't matter. As many likes as I can get would be fantastic. I'll be here tomorrow anyhow. So just show up and uh, we'll talk again. Anyhow, thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Enjoy your Sunday. It's a beautiful day. You're healthy. Get your family around you, your friends. Can't go wrong with that. All right. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Adios. I'm going to try to end the broadcast without saying a swear word. <laughs>